Hello fellow YouTubers, Levy WC Stop Motioner here. Welcome to viewers new and old. And today I'm reviewing some Sonic Movie 2 figures. So I'm looking at Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Robotnik or Eggman. So go ahead and look at the packaging individually. So here we have Sonic. This is articulated, made by Jack Specific, because of the Snow Rider. On the back, you get the description. It says, Sonic is your typical lightning-fast teenage hedgehog hero. Stopping crime, saving the world, and looking cool while he does it. 13 points for articulation. And there's my RTD to Tamagotchi again. So, this one looks really cool. Even if he does have that weird cut in the, in the color. But that's on all the figures. Don't know why, but it exists. Alright, here we have... Tails, he comes with a blaster. Always really like Tails. He's just he's a cool, well-meaning kid. It says Tails is on a mission to find Sonic, using his brains, tons of gadgets, and of course his two tails. He has 14 points for articulation. So he has one more than Sonic, which I assume is just the tails on his back. So that's really cool. We have Knuckles, who, in my opinion, stole the show in the movie he was so cool in it he comes with a snow rider also it says knuckles is one tough echidna with no times for small talk he's on a mission to find the greatest power in the universe and action speaks louder than words he has 13 points for articulation he looks really cool apparently there's like a slight variant there's one that looks a little bit more angry or something or maybe this is the angry version and there's one who looks less angry i'm not fully sure and of course we have Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik, or Eggman. Comes with a drone and a coffee cup. A lot of people are saying how oh, this is the best figure of the way, which, I mean, from what I've seen, it looks like it's possible. It says, Dr. Robotnik will stop at nothing and get back to Earth. Activate his plan for world domination and exact revenge on that obnoxious hedgehog. He has 13 points for articulation also. So... These figures all look pretty cool. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into them. Okay, so I'm not exactly an expert on reviewing action figures that don't transform, but yeah, let's just see how this goes. So we are starting off with the Sonic figure. And I think they did a pretty good job with it. The likeness is there. And I really like all the sculpted in details they did even if there is this kind of weird cut in the tan part i'm not fully sure if that was intentional or not but that is on every single figure i think they did a pretty good job with the shoes even the detail on the bottom of them looks really nice and then he does come with this board which you can either have him hold it Or you can go ahead and there's some tabs right here to plug into his heels. You can just put that on. And he can he can snowboard, which I think that looks pretty cool. Of course he's done that many times, I think, throughout the franchise. Articulation, the head is on a ball joint, but up and down doesn't really happen. You do get right and left. 
and then shoulders can do a full 360. It can go out to the side about that far. And he does have elbow articulation, but what I recommend doing is rotating it out to the side and then bending it out so it doesn't collide with this part back here. You can get a fair bend out of it. I mean, maybe it goes further, but I don't really want to mess with that. Because I'm just, I'm a little worried about it breaking. This feels like a kind of softer plastic. And the hand is on a ball joint. You don't really get a whole lot of up and down side to side movement, but you can rotate it. Legs can kick forward that far and back that far. You get a knee bend and foot is on a ball joint, which is something that Sonic figures have been in desperate need of because a lot of times the figures like to fall down. So having ankle movement really makes a big difference. So overall, I think this is a pretty good figure. All right, now we're on Tails, who's probably my least favorite of these figures. I still think he's good. I think the likeness is there. It's just there's some little issues I have with him. I think the head sculpt is nice. He's got a pretty big head there, but he's got a big brain, so it's all right. He comes with this gun, which was in the movie, but having Tails use a gun, just it just doesn't feel natural to me for some reason. Now he stands pretty well, provided you have his tails down, because if you have him in any other position, he's he's going down. And like with the Sonic, I think they did a good job with all the fur sculpting. And for the articulation, head is on a ball joint also. Again, it kind of likes, it's like you bend it up, but it kind of just goes back into place. You can do a full 360. You do, of course, get rotation in his tails, which are on a ball joint. You do come off a little bit easily. Just be careful of that. And then shoulders can do a full 360. They can go out to the side. This is why he's probably my least favorite of the wave, just because his joints just feel very thin. And like with Sonic, I like to kind of rotate it before I use the elbow. And then with him, you do also get wrist rotate, wrist, just wrist movement in general. Legs can go forward that far and back that far. Okay, well, let's just remove the tails. They can go that far. And then you do get a knee bend. What I forgot to mention, Sonic has this too. There is rotation right there. And you get a ball jointed ankle. So I said, good figure, just not my favorite of the wave. He's he's just got some little issues. So there's Tails. Also, I think the size is pretty nice. All right, Knuckles. I think this one is really nice. Again, sculpted detail I think is nice. He's got the right color of red. He's got his tail back here, which doesn't move. And then you do have this white area right here on his chest. I think they did a nice job with that head sculpt. They did a good job with his kind of clown shoes. I think that looks pretty good. And then accessories, he comes with the same snowboard that Sonic does. So you can have them do snow, have a snowboard battle, which just pegs in the same way pretty much. It's just not wanting to right now. There we go. Only thing is, and this relates to the articulation, you can't rotate his head, which I know is due to the design, but it's a little bit annoying because it looks a little wrong just to have him sliding by like this. You do get some shoulder movement, but they are going to collide with these Dreadlocks, I guess I'll call them. They can go out to the side that far. You do get an elbow rotation. 
And it can all spin up that far. And I'm not as nervous with this guy's joints. You get a lot more movement in the wrist. Then legs can kick forward that far, but if you turn them to the side right here, they can go out even further. And then you get a knee bend and foot articulation. So even though Sonic probably is objectively a better figure, I think I like this guy a little bit better. Yes, the articulation is a little bit limited. That's where I think Sonic wins, but just look at him. This guy looks so cool. So that's Knuckles. And then here we have Ace Venture, I mean, Robotnik. And I think they did a pretty good job with this. One of my problems with human action figures is sometimes that I just feel the head sculpts can be a little bit off, but I think they did a pretty good job. The eyes do look a little, little off, like they, like one's in a different location than the other one, but I still think it looks pretty good. I like the goggles right there and the mustache. He's actually got teeth that show right there. He comes with a coffee cup, which you can hold. And then he comes with this little egg drone thing, which I think is pretty nice. It's actually got some paint right here. And you can close it up. I'm just kind of leave it like that. And then if you just kind of get your nail in there, you can open it, open them back up. Which I don't really have much in the way of nails right now. Come on. There we go. Dang it. Yeah, I'll deal with that later. I gotta say, out of all these figures, he has probably the smoothest articulation. You do get a swivel with the head. You do get a 360 with the shoulders. They can go up that far. And you can actually get a double jointed elbow, which is really nice. Nothing in the hands. Then legs do have the movement, but they are gonna collide with his shirt. He's wearing, I'm not really sure what to call this. You do get a rotation right there. And he even has a double jointed knee also, which is also a pleasant surprise. And he dropped his coffee cup. And you do get some foot articulation. So, articulation on this guy is honestly pretty nice. Now again, he obviously does not scale with the other figures at all, but I don't really mind it that much. So, overall this one is really nice. Really nice figure. So, this is probably how I'd rank the figures from favorite to least favorite. Again, I think Tails is good, but he just, I don't know, he feels just too thin. But I think all these figures are really nice and, again, capture the look that they had in the movie. And I really enjoyed the movie. There were lots of references in it. And, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the movie yet, I really hope Jack still has the license by the time the third movie comes out, so they can give us Shadow because that would look really awesome. And we're probably going to get a 4-inch Supersonic in the not-too-distant future with the Master Emerald, so hopefully that happens. But until then, that's my late review for these figures, and again, I think they're all really nice. My first taste of Jack's Pacific Sonic figures. Whether this means I'll keep collecting it, I'm not fully sure, as... I'm obviously still hardcore Transformers and Lego, but this can just be kind of a fun third collection. So, be sure to comment down below what you think of the figures, and if you've seen it, what you thought of the movie. And, as always, if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and God bless.